Hi, in this tutorial we will show how to populate variable 2D patterns on surfaces using PT for Rhino. First we need to create a reference surface, create an ellipse and then extrude. After that we will split at the center of the surface because we will use only one side of the form. In order to use specific grid spacing, we can use PT grid surface domain length. This is usually very accurate, especially with the planar and extruded surfaces. We can also specify a reference point to center the grid on the face. We will not need all the grid, so we can delete few rows and columns. You may recall that grids created with paneling tools are simple rhino points, except that each point also has a name assigned that reflects its location. Run PT Panel Grid Custom Variable and set to use point attractors and scale methods. Follow the prompts to select the circle, the center, minimum and maximum scale factors, and you can also choose to pull the pattern to the surface or run the Rhino pull command afterwards to make sure that the circles are on the face and you can split with them. Create the bottom and top surfaces, join and use fillet edge to soften the edges. You can offset surface command with solid option to create thickness and quickly add some material. And this is how you create variable 2D patterns using paneling tools for Rhino. Thank you.